the historical background of the European immigration to Halifax during World War II and the reasons for their departure. Europe was devastated by the Second World War, which lasted from 1939 to 1945. Millions of people were killed, wounded, displaced or persecuted by the Nazi regime and its allies. Many Europeans sought refuge in other countries, especially those who were Jewish, political opponents, ethnic minorities or war victims. Canada was one of the destinations that welcomed many European immigrants after the war. Halifax was the main port of entry for immigration to Canada in the Atlantic region. It had a large and modern facility called Pier 21, which was built in 1928 and could handle the biggest ocean liners of the time. Pier 21 was also a major terminal for troop ships and hospital ships during the war, as Halifax was a strategic naval base for the Allies. Between 1928 and 1971, nearly one million immigrants came to Canada through Pier 21, and many of them arrived in the post-war period. The reasons for leaving Europe varied depending on the circumstances and the origin of the immigrants. Some were displaced persons who had lost their homes and families during the war and had no place to return to. Some were refugees who had escaped persecution or violence and feared for their lives if they stayed in Europe. Some were sponsored by relatives or friends who had already settled in Canada and offered them support and opportunities. Some were recruited by the Canadian government or private agencies to work in various sectors such as agriculture, mining, forestry or domestic service. One of the most tragic examples of European immigration to Halifax during World War II was the case of the SS Street. Lewis, a ship that carried more than 900 Jewish refugees from Germany in 1939. The ship was denied entry in Cuba, the United States and Canada, despite the pleas of the passengers and humanitarian organizations. The Canadian Director of Immigration at the time said, no country could open its doors wide enough to take in the hundreds of thousands of Jewish people who want to leave Europe. The line must be drawn somewhere. The ship had to return to Europe, where many of the refugees perished in Nazi concentration camps. However, not all stories were so tragic. Many European immigrants who came to Halifax after World War II found a new home and a new life in Canada. They contributed to the economic, social and cultural development of the country with their skills, talents, and diversity. Some of them even returned to Pier 21 decades later to revisit their first steps in Canada and share their memories with others. For example, Maria Sadej and Henrik Zirnfield, two Slovenians who arrived at Pier 21 on May 19, 1948 on a cargo ship called the SS Marine Jumper, returned to Pier 21 on May 20, 2023 to commemorate their 75th anniversary of arrival. They said they were grateful for the chance that Canada gave them to start over and pursue their dreams. The cultural and social impact of the European immigration on Halifax and how it shaped the city's identity and diversity Halifax was not only a strategic port for military purposes during the Second World War, but also a gateway for thousands of European immigrants who sought a new life in Canada. Between 1939 and 1945, Canada welcomed an average of almost 13,000 immigrants per year, many of whom arrived by sea through Pier 21, the ocean liner terminal and immigration shed in Halifax. Some of these immigrants were fleeing the war-torn continent and its aftermath, such as Maria Sadej and Henrik Zirnfeld, two Slovenians who left communist Yugoslavia in 1948 and embarked on a voyage across the Atlantic Ocean on a cargo ship titled the SS Marine Jumper. They arrived at Pier 21 on May 19, 1948, and later settled in Toronto, where they pursued work opportunities in the railway and lumber industries. Some of these immigrants were children who were evacuated from the United Kingdom for safety reasons, as the threat of aerial bombing loomed over major cities. Between 1939 and 1941, almost 6,000 children and 2,000 adults were sent to Canada under private and public schemes. Some of these children stayed with relatives or foster families, while others lived in group homes or schools. Some returned to their families after the war, while others remained in Canada permanently. 
Some of these immigrants were dependents of Canadian soldiers who had married overseas during or after the war. Between 1944 and 1946, over 44,000 war brides and 21,000 children came to Canada from various European countries, mostly from Britain. They faced many challenges in adapting to a new country and culture, often without the support of their husbands who were still serving abroad or had been killed in action. These European immigrants brought with them their languages, religions, traditions, skills and talents to Halifax and other parts of Canada. They contributed to the economic, social and cultural development of their new home, enriching its diversity and identity. They also forged lasting bonds with other Canadians who welcomed them with kindness and generosity. Pier 21 was a witness to these stories of courage, hope and resilience. It was a place where many immigrants took their first steps in Canada, where they experienced joy or sorrow, where they said goodbye or hello. Today, Pier 21 is a national historic site and a museum that celebrates the role of immigration in shaping Canada's history and future.